Hello everybody and welcome back to the illegally sighted Twitch stream. This is Jesse here. And I, again, I was going to say mixer, but uh, uh, again, sadly, RIP as of today, um, mixer is no more. Very sad. But um, had some great memories there, and I've chatted about that before. But um, yeah, we are back on Twitch, and we are moments away, just over five minutes away from the Microsoft Xbox Games Showcase. They had something in May that was a little disappointing, I would say, as an understatement. But um, <clears throat> this is going to be focused on Xbox Series X. It's going to be exclusively focused on games. They already basically told us that they are not going to be focusing on price and hardware and all kinds of other announcements so we're not going to get any of that today that might be like a later august thing or something um but yeah it's going to be all on games i know we're going to get to they keep hyping up halo infinite so for sure we're going to get to see that we're going to see what other first and potential third party uh games are going to be announced and i do hope that it is more than just your you know, the staples that have been carrying them for the last several years. I hope it's more than Halo, Gears, and Forza. You know, I, wanna, I, I do want to see a little more variety and hopefully more great single-player content, you know. Um, just more variety and more new things. Um, because, you know, okay, we, we have Gears 12 and Forza, you know, 16. I mean, I know we're not that far, but I mean, it's like, yeah, they're great games, but... You know, and I'm excited, especially if they add accessibility to games like that. You know, like having an, an accessible mainstream racing game would be fantastic. But I do want to see some cool new stuff too. And um, before we go any further, I do want to just do a quick shout out um, to Ob. Uh, I, I hope I say this right. I always mess it up. Um, F. G. C. Rattlehead. He is the uh, he was the host of the Cento Mortal Kombat tournament that took place in late June. Awesome job, by the way. Um, but I also I knew he was a musician and had a band or played stuff as well. But uh, I just got found out about his about his band and started listening to their music. And if you like metal. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking it out. He's on, he's on a lot of your streaming services, um, under the, oh God, I just went stupid. Let me look really fast. I, I had it in my head, but I just got out of another meeting. And so I just went stupid and forgot. Distartica, Distartica, cool metal name band, cool band, um, name for a metal band. But yeah, if you like uh, old school, like 80s metal, I mean, and not not like glam metal, but like cool metal. Like, uh, you know, I, I'm reminded of like 80s Metallica and, uh, you know, stuff that I grew up listening to, 80s Metallica and Megadeth and Pantera and stuff like that. Uh, from what I've listened to so far, it's pretty rad. So just wanted to plug him, give him a shout out. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so if you like rock and metal definitely check that out we are just under two minutes away um i just did find out that originally i didn't know that there would be um, but with this is going to be an audio described stream so they do have different streams for like sign language uh, interpretation uh, interpreters and uh, captions and the stream is being uh, presented in different languages. And then yesterday evening-ish, I believe it was, I got a tweet mentioned from somebody, thank you by the way, um, and then I started seeing it everywhere uh, that they are also having an audio described stream, which is great because remember when, they, when all these uh, streams, one of my problems is, is that they'll show the title for these games and it's they appear and disappear so quickly or they're in such a weird font that I can't 
read them quick enough or I missed the release date or whatever it happens to be. So it'll be interesting. Um, you know, I probably won't be able to talk as much. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining the chat. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, we're just under a minute away from the Xbox event. So I'm very curious to see I'm pretty sure they're not going to mention accessibility for these games, but just knowing that a lot of these Microsoft first-party studios have been starting to implement accessibility for things like Minecraft Dungeon and Forza and Crackdown 3 and stuff like that, and it's only going to get better, so you know we'll see where they land when the games come out, but um, I just want to see what potentially we'll be playing in the next few months. So, yeah, I, I, I hope they... Give Sony a run for their money, because uh, competition is good. Oh, here we go. May contain content inappropriate for children. This Excellent. www.esrb.org. I like inappropriate content. In a logo, a white number 18 appears inside a red rectangle. www.pegi.info. Okay. Provisional. A square prism floats above water. Countdown numbers appear in the oh, rectangle. Okay. Five, four, three, two. All right. Xbox Games Showcase. It's on. Xbox Here we go. Xbox Game Studios presents a space station made up of two cylinders floats above a planet with a massive crater on its surface. A small cylinder slides up a metal it's gonna be hole Halo. into the space station. In a fiery, hot machine, a drop of liquid falls into a metal mold mechanical press lowers from the ceiling and presses down on the pool of liquid. The press raises to reveal a small shield-shaped piece of metal tech. As red lights flicker above it, the tech floats through the wall and into another room. A blast door opens, revealing a round room with walls covered in speakers. The speakers blast excess particles off the piece of tech. A mechanical arm scrapes off part hmm. of the tech's body. A wet black glove emerges from a pool. The Mjolnir exosuit is now complete. The tech is fused onto a gauntlet. Sitting at a desk, a it's woman interesting, but as different pieces it's kind of, of a bummer that you don't get to hear the audio Even as much. This technology like the music. Save humanity in the, war to come. the different pieces of tech assemble to make the exosuit. I must remind myself. Water. Drink that's Cortana. Suit. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. I don't know the if it's just more high fidelity, but she sounds is different. Burned onto the suit's breastplate. Armor cannot hurt. One one seven is lowered onto the suit. It clicks into place. Seen from inside the helmet, the visor powers up. A word appears. Initialize. It all means nothing. A man flips a switch. Until you step inside. Master Chief's visor lights up. A mm -hmm. word appears. Become. On a green planet with rocky mountains and a blue and purple sky, a metal circle with sparkling blue light inside is shown. Text. Halo. Infinite. Press X to start demo. Text appears. 28th May, 2560. 167 oh, days. After we lost. I wish this was part of the demo thing since it's going to come out on current consoles anyway. On a ship, Master Chief stands behind a beer. I wish this was part of the demo week. This is death. All right, we're first person. The ship is blasted. No! No, 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 no! It gets hit again. And we're going to get to see some campaign footage, it looks like. And we'll have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, ship. Pilot grits his teeth as he lands in the water. His head whips forward. Big bearded Everything guy. Everything goes black. A view of the hunched over pilot appears and fades. Master Chief puts a hand on his shoulder. He awakens. No. Get. No. You. I can't stand this. He's rocking a pretty good beard there. No. You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We're... Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? He follows Master Chief. I haven't been safe since I found you. <laughs> I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. 
There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. Some pretty rad armor there, with Chief. This war, we get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. All right. Okay, big guy. As Master Chief <laughs> turns to exit the ship, our yeah, let's see him. Let's first person. He holds an assault rifle. Yeah. Steps off the ship into a green. And I love. Field. I can see thirty-six ammo. Halo encircling the planet. Oh, I think I hear grunts. Master Chief fires at grunts, small yes. reptilian enemies. He quickly takes care of the This reminds me of Halo moves. 1 level Continuing 2. Continuing through wetlands, he gazes up as a purple Covenant ship flies overhead. One of my favorite levels. That one and the beach are the best ones in Halo 1. But I love that assault rifle. It disappears because you can trees. see the ammo count on it. Super clear as low vision. He runs over to a warthog, a four-wheeled military vehicle with a turret on the back. The jeep heading in the car, he drives through the wetlands and up into the hills. He stops on a cliffside. A map of the area appears. A player scrolls through targets on the map, denoting Ooh. gun battery, gun battery east, gun battery north, and gun battery west. Open world. I don't know if it's multiple open worlds, like level-based open closed. worlds, but... Master Chief drives past enemies who fire after him. He flies big. over a cliff and speeds toward an enemy camp. <laughs> he rolls over a grunt as he drives into the camp. Yes! This looks fun. He elbows a grunt, taking him out. He turns and throws a grenade at another grunt. Actually, that's an elite. An elite, a larger reptilian enemy, rolls toward him. He melee attacks him and picks up a battle rifle. He takes down more grunts, then heads toward a tall building. Red lights appear from the sky. Hogs this... land in front of him. The doors fly open, revealing brutes, muscular reptilian enemies. He and there's some crazy down, lighting going on, attack, too. Then reloads. He approaches another brute, but first throws a shield to block his ranged attacks. He uses a grappling hook to pull himself close Ooh. to the brute and stick him with a grenade. Hell he takes yeah! The brute's weapon, a ravager. He switches to a pistol and walks toward a console. So it look, it almost looks smoother. Like this is 60 instead of 30 frames a second. It just seems a zippier rises, lifting Master than your Chief typical to the top console. Of the building. A sweeping view of the area spreads out in front of him. Which I like. Enemy bases cover the rocky terrain, which is dotted with evergreen trees. Other tall buildings made of thin rectangles appear in the distance. Going up. He arrives on the roof. He steps off the platform and watches another Covenant ship pass overhead. Some good vistas. He fires his pistol at enemies and switches to the Ravager. He shoots at a grunt flying past him overhead. That is a big he ass gun. Disperses all the rest of the enemies. The shield's charged. Dude, Picks Game Pass Day One, I'm so playing the hell out of this. Further into the camp. Using the new weapon, he quickly clears the area, taking down grunts, elites, and a brute. He shoots a console, causing it to explode and blow everything near it to bits. The lighting just looks really shiny. Enemy. He picks up a mangler, a gun with a round magazine. He fires his grappling hook at a bridge and pulls himself up to higher ground. He takes down three grunts with the mangler, then uses the hook to pull a glowing blue crate over to him. He throws the crate at Ooh. a manned turret, causing the crate to explode. He shoots the turret operator with the mangler, then advances on the enemies standing on higher ground. Best thing is I can play this with keyboard and mouse. Master Chief pops in the now vacant turret and turns the guns on his foes. He shoots at crates, which instantly explode. He jumps out of the turret and grabs a bulldog, a black rifle. He uses it to take down a brute. He takes out a shielded enemy, then tosses a sticky grenade at another brute. 
He reloads the bulldog and takes out uh, another. The combat in these soldier. games are fun. Uses its grappling hook to slide into an elite and take him out with an elbow to the face. I love the grappling the hook. Enemy, then steps into a glowing blue light that carries him up and into a uh, room with a console in the grab center. lift. He activates the console and the blast doors close. Red lights flash. A red hologram of a muscular, bald, covenant enemy covered in metal armor turns toward him. The UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> Red we are one step ahead. Always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. I really gotta catch up on my Halo lore. I really don't remember all that much and I haven't played much of Halo 4 or 5 at all I have a little but I just never got into them that much that ugly dude this is my last fight a true test of legends our story Oh, us like a big old orc ogre guy looking thing. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die well. <sighs> okay. Text appears. Halo Infinite. Holiday 2020. Uh. Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Windows PC, Smart Delivery. Yeah, yeah. 343 Industries. A map focuses on 343 Industries in Redmond, Washington. Chris Lee, studio head of Halo Infinite. I wish that demo Industries. was on. The... We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 343, and we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Damn. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger battles, epic vistas, more complex visual effects, displayed with 10 times the processing power per pixel of Halo 5. There's a this lot of shiny there. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible. I was before. right, 60 frames per second. We look forward to sharing even more about That's Halo smoother. Infinite in the coming months, including the first look at multiplayer. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. All right. I'm most interested in the single World player, to be premiere. honest. All oh, right, world premiere. Xbox Game Studios presents What do we get? Night time. In a forest filled with leafless trees, a small campfire burns. A woman in a jacket and knit cap warms herself by the fire next to a makeshift shelter tied to a tree. She uses a sharp knife to whittle a wooden arrow. He holds the arrow to her face and looks down it. She startles and stands, grabbing her knife. <laughs> Two white eyes stare at her from the snowy woods. She stares back. Okay, From the I animal's have perspective, no idea what this it is. hurries away. He digs her blade back into a log. I have no idea what this Daytime. is. Bearing a crossbow, a woman walks through the woods. She ducks beneath a tree branch, takes in the snowy, mountainous expanse in front of her. She walks across a log, stretching over an icy river. Looking down, she sees a trail of blood in the snow. He crouches oh, yeah. by the blood. He dips two fingers in a pool of the blood and rubs them together. You don't touch it. He follows the trail deeper into the woods. She lifts her scope and sees a bloody wolf lying in the snow, gasping for air. He lowers her scope and sees the animal responsible for the carnage. A deer with half its face missing. She aims. Whoa, what? State of Decay 3. 
Game Pass, Xbox Series oh. X, Windows PC. Round Xbox logo slides over spitting black X's. Oh, okay. Green light illuminates the background. Interesting. Bill Spencer, head of Xbox. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Showcase. Today, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox Game Studios, okay. including unveils of five new first party games. Good. What you'll see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions to bring their dreams to life. We believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play. Yeah, it and is. we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today from your what? subscription or free to play. Wait, what? These games will Does that look include anything with and Halo? Play best on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched fidelity, Wait, performance, what? precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. Does that include And we've built state of the art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. Uh, I knew there was going to be a Forza. development on the next Forza Motorsport. And Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream. Mm, early in development, so it's realism, not going to be... With ray tracing and native 4K resolution, all at 60 frames per second. And hopefully some accessibility for blind. The trailer you're about blind. to see was captured completely in-engine. All right, in-engine, so I don't World know if it's going to actually premiere. be gameplay. You know, I don't Xbox know. Xbox Game Studios we'll see. presents. Or if it'll just be like replay. Angling lights illuminate a sound stage. Footage. Racing helmets sit on a table. Racers mill about the room. A green and white tech sports car sits in front of a white background lit by studio lights. Posters on the wall advertise tech sports racing and Laguna Seca legends. On a track, race cars whip around a turn. In the studio, an engine is shown beneath a car's hood. A green and white tech sports car backs off of a platform. Number 23 is painted by its tire. On the track, cars speed around another turn with a tech sports car in the lead. In the studio, people in racing uniforms and helmets sit at a console. The door to the tech sports car is raised. On the track, the number 23 tech sports car leads the pack around a turn and beneath a bridge. The racers definitely looks the good, but I want to see. Lights flash. Text appears Ports of Motorsport, Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Windows PC. Hmm. Xbox Game Studios presents a logo, a gray R within a white one. Rare. rare. Oh, what is Rare logo doing? Expands, revealing green leaves in front of a tall waterfall inside of it. Water drips off a flower into a river. Our world what has a rhythm. What is Rare doing? We all sense it. Three people lead two mounts toward a distant mountain. But only a few truly feel it. Three of them sit by a fire. A long-haired woman holds up food. It is found in the smallest moments. A small winged animal snatches the food. In every step of a perilous journey. Another woman steadies her mount on a cliffside. In the symmetry of ritual. Sure what this circle is. around a barren tree. A huge furry tail wraps around a tree trunk. In the bonds huh? we share. An enormous dog-like creature pulls down the tree. I was going to say, this, is a this isn't Viva a long Pinata. Woman floats in a body of water. And in moments of stillness. In the woods, three of the companions inch toward an enormous sleeping amphibious creature. It teaches us to look beyond the expected. It opens its mouth and its babies slide into the water. To be a light in dark places gray-haired woman carries a baby deer-like creature. To seek answers. She releases a bioluminescent butterfly. Lies toward a rock wall. It looks good, but... And to stand watch. It seems like this is early, and Four of them sit on we're not getting side. any gameplay. The baby deer heaves. They dance around it. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. They swing balls that leave smoke trails. But only a few truly feel it. Yeah, it's all just cutscenes. rises scene. and runs off. In the sky, 
giant glowing deer looks down on the four of them. The gray-haired woman reaches up to it. A logo, a person, a deer, and a spirit creature curve around two circles. Everwild, Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Windows PC. A map shows rare in Twycross, England. Louise O'Connor, executive producer. They didn't give Everwild. a release date Everwild either, so. We'll give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and <coughs> just truly lose yourself. I have a feeling we're not going to see that one for a while. Eternal. An eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every living thing. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild, and I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love, and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we did see a teaser of that. I do remember that name. Xbox Game Studios presents a young man and woman walk from a snowy cabin. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mom? The woman holds a shotgun. Allison? Oh, what is this? Yeah. A game by Don't Nod Entertainment. It doesn't oh. matter. The, the Life is Strange us. guys. The boy sits at a dimly lit table. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. In the rain, he runs in the woods. But we couldn't be sure. He trips over a rock. He looks up, his face covered in mud. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter mm, that finding This could be truth. Life is Strange 3, just I'm getting a Feels vibe. Impossible. The siblings stand in a child's bedroom. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. In a flashback, they play together. Suddenly, they are grown. And the only way to move forward is to keep looking back. If I had to guess, I would say Life, Life is Strange 3. we see or hear something really emotional. The young man kneels by a memory recreated by light. A whale crashes into the water. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. They kneel by her grave. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. As a child, watches his mother leave his room. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Tears back a wood panel. He lifts a door in the floor and enters a shed. Hmm. Finds a book. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. In a police station, he talks to an officer. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. The siblings watch a memory of them as children. I can't do this. Sister okay, so that's going to be the supernatural rainbow. power. Tell me why. Chapter oh. 1, available August 27th. Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, oh. Windows PC. Okay. Xbox Game Studios presents A Sphere Orbits a Planet. Moon Studios. Gennady Korol. Interesting. Co-founder and director of technology. A game like Life Moon is Strange Studios. and is coming hey, out soon. Hey, everyone. My name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today, we're very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, yeah, showing some super crisp, there. sharp image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world by using premium audio tech that we previously just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play our game. We can't wait for all of you to experience this very special version of Ori coming to Xbox Series X with smart delivery later this year. Ori and the Will right. of the Wisps 2020 Game Pass Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Windows PC, smart delivery. Xbox Game Studios presents Logo Private Division. In a laboratory, a mm. mech stomps forward. A scientist lies slumped by a console. 
A statue of a person wearing a moon mask sits behind a glass case. From the furthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. What is this? An abandoned this? research facility. And now, shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon asteroid. A sordid stopover. Definitely got like a B-movie feel. And scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. Uh. With the right kind of case. They wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Or sword. Or this oh. thing. Okay. I mean, Slash is an enemy with the weapon. Thrill. I like Slashy Slash. Down an enemy. Danger. Man fires First a person. Gun. Intrigue. A what word is of advice this? before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Glowing blue tubes feed energy to a console in a cage. A monster with claws rears up. What will you find on Gorgon? <laughs> the Outer Worlds. Peril on Gorgon. Oh. That's why I thought it looked familiar. Okay. Huh. Xbox Game Studios presents On a sunny day, a tiny girl stands beneath enormous clovers in a backyard. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year. Tiny children stand in the grass. Then wait for oh, Cyberpunk. Ah. But if you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. Child cuts down a clover and chops a small rock. Also, I forget the name of this. It out of collected materials. From Obsidian Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like this one. The children cling to dandelion seeds as they fly through the air. A bug shoots a cloud of gas at them. This summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the spiders. Nah. And go solo. Unlock the secrets. Survive the yard. Children battle a ladybug. Honey, I yes, shrunk the kids. Them. They stand on a platform with beaming satellite dishes. Go big. They shoot arrows. They celebrate on top of an action figure. Or never. They fight a spider. Go home. They shoot arrows at a colony of ants. Grounded. Grounded. That's what it was. That shows Obsidian in July 28th. Holy crap. That's Vegas soon. Urquhart, studio head Obsidian. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. It's something we do every day when we come to the office, and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure, Peril on Gorgon. It's the first of two planned story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends from the private division. Now, it's also important that we continue to evolve how we tell stories in games, and Grounded is the perfect example of that. The team has been working for the last two years on how to tell an Obsidian story within a survival game. Now, what's great is that you're going to be able to play the game on July 28th on Xbox Game Preview and on Steam Early Access. We want to hear from you, and we want to continue to build okay. it together. Oh, yeah. If you've been wondering, we have been working on that next big Obsidian RPG. Check this out. Hmm. World premiere. Okay. I like Obsidian RPGs. You got the Xbox Game Studios New Vegas and... Beneath heavy clouds, fires burn Actually, in a South green valley. Too. We have always known war. Obsidian Entertainment. Flags wave on the side of a castle. Archers fire flaming arrows into the sky. It forged our empire. Speed past the statue of a man with a sword carved in a cliffside. Turn heroes into queens and kings. The arrows begin their descent. And decimated our foes. An arrow explodes through a skeleton soldier. Yeah, it did. Now our oaths are lost. Forsaken. The arrow lands in an underground city. A man unsheaths a sword. And you must face the monsters. All right, first a person. A purple oh. gauntlet appears around his hand. Casting uh, spells with his left hand. Orange light shines from a nearby cave. Sword in the Ground right. Shakes. Okay. Worth the weight of a crown. You have me very interested. Avowed. Game Pass, Xbox Series mm. X, Windows PC. Yes, please. That very little gameplay, but I could tell it was spellcasting and sword fighting. Light, pouring through metal circles, 
Matt Booty, head of Xbox Game Studios. Avowed is an expansive first-person RPG set in the fantasy world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game is the one they want to make. As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best, and it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. A map shows Interior Night in London, UK. Caroline Marshall. Bonjour. I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate about interactive storytelling because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game yeah, spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. Okay. World premiere. Xbox Game Studios presents in the back seat of a car, a young girl looks out the window. Interior Night presents. The car drives by a lone tree in a desert. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. At the Desert Dream Motel. For our family, it was just a stopover. An original interactive drama. A man drives a truck. Another man and a boy sit in the truck bed. For mine. It was the end of the road. The two men point guns at the girl's father. On the ground, now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. I wonder if this is like a Buried Life is Strange-esque kind of game. At night, police around the motel. Or one of the gunmen holds a gun to the girl's <coughs> There's action throat. parts to it. Burning money floats toward the pool. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. Outgrown, the girl stands by a wooden house. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. The boy, now grown, I'm digging the background the music. Door. I got your letters. As dusk falls, Game Pass, Xbox Series X, huh. Windows PC. A map shows Ninja Theory in Cambridge, England. Don ah. Matthews, studio head, Ninja Theory. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work on all of our projects, including Senua Saga Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. Yep, I remember seeing that announced. An incredible 3.5 <coughs> million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's I have not sacrifice. finished that game. I did We're a video for it, but I haven't finished it. start giving you an insight it. into what comes next for our Celtic warrior. An experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. Oh, I should play that with uh, Boom. I'm happy to reveal today that Senua's saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. A view sweeps over a tundra. Smoke plumes above a distant mountain. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash official Ninja Theory. Wearing white face paint with streaks, Sanua heaves. From overhead, Four symbols resembling pitchforks illuminate on the ground. Man. It's been so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's sacrifice has had on so many players. And we're incredibly thankful to all of it the fans It is a neat game. Of Senua's story so I had a little far. bit of trouble like, seeing some of the visual puzzles. Our development journey from here on out. Which is why I sort of stopped. Xbox Game Studios presents but... a hand-drawn matchbox cover reads Xbox Game Studios, a hand strikes a match. A curly fuse is lit, it leads to a cannon. A strong man blows out the match. Cartoon. A two-headed person flies through the air. 
They land in a logo. 20 double fine years. Ah, uh -huh. 2019. Double fine. Los Angeles. Okay. Jack Black. Let's say hi to Peter. He's on the line. What? Here. Peter? Peter, he's been sitting there the whole time. Hey, who wrote the song? Uh, oh, are they going to do a remaster oh, or a new version of. Uh, Love the song. Very much. It's going to be fun. Um, now it's time to, to rock. Shall we start rocking? Jack stands with Tim Schafer, project oh, lead, in a recording booth. Gonna? In a game, a brain floats in green water. Raz oh, no. from Psychonauts holds it. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. He drops in a picture of a door. I hope you don't mind pop ins. Yeah. As it soon as I saw the brain, brain, I knew. It opens. Raz puts on his gauntlet. Brutal legend, that's what I was thinking of. version of himself leaves his head and goes through the door. Where are he we? He walks through a dark space toward a bright light. It's a quiet place. He follows the light. In the studio, Jack Black records the song. Lost alone. Oh, okay. Neither skin nor bone. That's where Jack Black comes in. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's blow At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started I wish the PC version of the original Psychonauts played better. Raz steps on stage. It doesn't of a support crowd. the controller super well. Now I can feel out the galaxy and the flow of time. In a gameplay, Raz runs. Oh, okay, that's pretty trippy. And colorful. Raz runs through psychedelic landscapes. He freezes a leaping fish and jumps on it. A green violin with an eye on the top spins. And there's definitely some weird, surreal stuff going on here. Of eyes, Raz defeats a neon monster. A minibus is shown beneath the words "Feel Mobile." Which I never, huh? never. Raz there's, falls through colors. Man, there's little glimpses of gameplay. A creature with an eye for a head plays the green violin. Raz dodges another creature's long tongue. He watches a blue cartoon fight a green one. He falls through blinding psychedelic colors. He tumbles over and lands on his feet. Psycho Psychonauts 2. 2, Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, when? Windows PC, Smart Delivery. The brain floats in the Yeah, but when? Board. That thing has been in development An Xbox forever. Xbox Series X floats in front of green lights. Sarah Bond, head of Xbox Partnerships and Ecosystem. We can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just so much more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers, to bring you the broadest variety of games ever. There is one developer in particular that is close to us, not just geographically, but in history too. I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X of course and they will. Xbox Game Pass. If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. Oh wow! Okay, so you're not even just the base members, game. That's actually Destiny a pretty 2 good deal. Destiny 2 will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later hmm. this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X, 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Here's an all-new look at Bungie's Destiny 2 Beyond Light. I amid snow, an enormous satellite points at Part of me wants to Guardians like Destiny. I have never snow. played it yet. Bungie. I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every but I just don't know about the whole online. Closer. It's time to step beyond it's the not light. A solo game Guardian that really that well. Plunges their hands into the ground, causing ice to shoot up at from the floor. At least I don't think. Create. Guardian throws ice. It creates a platform. End case. Enemies freeze in place after a guardian throws ice at their feet. The guardian 
throws ice at the ground, then uses the ice that forms under him to fly above enemies' heads. Shatter. One guardian freezes enemies, then another smashes them. The guardian jumps between frozen enemies, turning them to pieces. More guardians shatter enemies. A guardian is encased in light. Go beyond the light. Wield the darkness. An enemy draws swords. A guardian plunges his sword into the ground. Destiny 2, Beyond Light, November 10th, 2020. This is Destiny 2 mm. that you can play any Fair way enough. you want thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Some of the world's most That's a cool thing, though, having not just a base Xbox game. Series X, and we're just honored to be able to collaborate with them. But the whole thing Xbox in Game Pass Series is pretty X cool. Xbox empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. Okay. World premiere. I was gonna say, what a sizzle reel. Console launch exclusive. Oh, okay. Light flickers in a cell. Words on a heavy metal door read, GSC Game World. A rusty Ferris wheel creaks in a gray, desolate landscape. Debris floats in the air. An apartment house sits in the distance. Trees sway slightly. In a metal tunnel, a red light flashes, briefly illuminating the entire tunnel. Yellow light appears at the tunnel's end. No idea what this could be. In a playground, yellow lights swirl around a floating, glowing rock. Lightning flashes in the distance. Four-legged animals scurry through the grass. A screw tumbles down what was once a school hallway. Books, chairs, and desks litter the wet ground. I have no Night idea. Light crackles in the hallway, then fills our view. In a clearing, a rippling mass of energy yanks totaled cars toward it. A man holding a gun walks through saying, a flooded area past destroyed homes and buildings. Again, no Fire gameplay. burns outside one of the buildings. In a cylindrical building covered in stairwells, a disfigured fetus grows in a yellow tube. A view draws closer to it. The fetus hiccups. Outside, a person with a gun over their shoulder walks in the woods. They stop and glance back at us. Oh. Gas masks cover their faces. Stalker 2. Game Pass, Xbox Series X, oh. Windows PC. Okay. World premiere. Wasn't what I thought it was, but okay. Stalker. Console launch exclusive. Nothing new in the chat. I've been keeping an eye on it. In a musty mansion. Caged, hanging lights cast a dim glow over the room. The lights shut off. Four armed soldiers with flashlights on their guns walk into the room. One of them startles as he points his light at something on the ground. His flashlight flickers. Another soldier smacks it, and it goes back on. My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigation. A soldier shines a light at something. It hurries away. A recon squad has been sent into sub-level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. Okay, we're Bat first shark. person. Warhammer. A soldier scans the area with his flashlight. Oh, no oh is this another space marine game? Dust falls from the ceiling. The soldier turns to find a horde of zombies coming toward them before soldiers brace themselves. One of their lights. I wonder if this out. would be like a Left 4 Dead esque. Warhammer, forty thousand, Dark Tide. If oh, Dark Tide, interesting. Twenty twenty one. Well, we have Vermin Tide, Dark Series Tide, X, sure. Windows PC. Okay. World premiere. That has potential. Console launch exclusive. Enhance. A smiling man holds an Xbox controller. In square-shaped boxes, people of all different ages and races hold controllers and play. The square boxes turn into Tetris bricks and piece together. Oh, this world, 
Okay, what, Tetris Effect? Is that what's gonna come? Okay, yeah, I see, okay. The little pictures, yeah, they're showing up in different patterns. Tetris blocks, sure. No gameplay, but... Yeah, just by the music and the background that's happening now, I have a feeling we're getting Tetris effect. Tetris gameplay plays. Three well, separate screens, one yellow, one blue, and one red, come together to make one large Tetris screen. Three player icons appear beneath the screen. A rotating Earth is shown. Okay. Optimized single player and all new multiplayer. Oh. Tetris Effect. Not so. Holiday 2020. Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Windows PC. Oh, hell yeah. Smart delivery. I'm going to play the hell out of that. Premier. Now, I have it already, the older version. Console launch exclusive. On the Epic the Store in VR. World. A spaceship drifts toward a planet. <coughs> Scans a no go. Sure you want to drop here? Hell yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. A woman wears a mechanical glove. He jumps off a rock. What we got? Another good for nothing space rock? <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. Let me check. She dashes through the colorful planet. A mass of black tar. Okay, now this ooze. looks like gameplay. Find anything good? Or did for a second. Bex, you're not gonna believe this. Yeah. Ouch! What the? Yeah, it's like a... up her glove and begins sucking up the ooze. Yeah, it's like she a tar monster. Using her glove to suck up more of the ooze as she the goes. What the heck is this? It looks... She leaps in the air, narrowly avoiding exploding rocks. He sucks up ooze and clears a pathway for herself out of a cave. The actual gameplay, how he about that? The plants sprout and grow as white light swirls around it. He glances backwards. A horned creature sneaks up behind her. I have no idea what this is. He climbs a cliff and sees a machine with long mechanical arms. Ooze pulsates nearby. Words appear. The gunk. Game Pass. Huh? Xbox Series X. Xbox One. Windows PC. Smart delivery. The gunk. Okay. No launch Console date. Launch so. Exclusive. Bluebird team. On a sunny day, a butterfly soars through the air. It flies past the wall and becomes a moth. Inside, a shade of brown washes over the poorly kept room. A flame incinerates the moth. Words appear. I tried to cut myself off, but the voices, they just wouldn't stop calling out to me. Something runs through the woods. A woman smokes a cigarette. It all starts with a dead girl. Okay. The forest. The moon. Scent of pines. Some kind of horror game, maybe? On a dock, a man shoots the girl. The gunshot. Smoking woman puts out her cigarette. Every story has two sides. He pushes a corpse into a cold chamber. A regular, rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse. I can lift them. Ground shakes, and a shade of burnt orange watches over the building in front of her turning the area into a hellscape. Bright light shines between the two buildings in front of her. He oh. stands. Our view shows a split between okay. the real world and the nightmare world. Anyone there? Huh. Words appear on a split screen. Dual reality gameplay. Two worlds rendered simultaneously. What is this place? A woman moves through two worlds at once. Normal office entryway becomes a nightmarish graveyard. The woman looks away as something rushes past her. He covers her mouth. In the nightmare world, she holds light in her hand. She makes a bubble around herself as she walks down a hallway. So... Cuts open stitching on a skin-like wall. 
Oh, yeah, this looks weird, all right. Graveyard. So, down a hallway. presumably you have to watch both halves of the screen at the same time? I don't know if that's during the whole game or just parts of it. A monster chokes her. The medium. Game Pass. Xbox Series huh. X. Windows PC. World premiere. Okay. Console launch exclusive. Sega. Sega. <laughs> Sega. That's a White new bird pronunciation. Flies over clear ocean water. Uh, Panzer Fort Dragoon. Sky. Wasn't this PSO out? 20th anniversary? Oh. Various green outdoor spaces are shown. Rivers run through green forests. Or at least that's what I thought it was going to be. A brand new, expansive world. The river runs through trees. Musical notes appear above the heads of yellow birds standing well, maybe in the field. Not. A boy with a giant blue sword runs through the world. He jumps uh, over rocks and races through the grass. Third person. He watches on a cliffside as purple missiles strike the ground below. He leaps off a cliff and spins in the air. He slashes a monster We're getting with multiple game long tails with his sword. Unknown threats. He swings his sword wildly, leaving a trail of blue behind it with each strike. Night, a boy fights various enemies in a field. Lots of hacky slashy. enemy leaves a trail of light behind it as it moves. And lots of glowy particles and such. Okay, I mean, this is more like it. We're actually seeing gameplay instead of just pre-rendered crap. Not sure what this is. If it's something we've already seen before, or if... I mean, it seems vaguely familiar, but... I don't know. Coming 2021. Console launch exclusive. Oh, they didn't even say the name. Flies around a cliff in a hall. Oh, they did on the stream, but they didn't do audio described. I've seen your future. A man looks at an armored suit. A bomb goes off. A man is pushed off a building. A building explodes. Global risk is death of the weapon. Smilegate Entertainment. Remedy. Ooh, Remedy. Helicopters fly over a bridge. World premiere. Ooh, what is Cross Remedy Fire doing? Ooh, first person. Two men fight on a balcony. Did I a see man for a holds second? a glowing knife. I will see it die. A hand cannon fires. The side do, of a building explodes. Did. A man clings to a balcony to stop himself from falling far below. Another man helps him up. We make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? A plane shoots missiles into a building. A bearded man stands amid red lights. A blonde woman wears a military hoodie. 17 seconds. He shoots his way through a burning warehouse. Three people jump off a plane. This looks pretty interesting. A blonde drives an ambulance. She turns Color hard me and intrigued. flies off the bridge and towards the ocean. Soon, the entire world <coughs> all because of him. By military vehicles, he shoots down enemies. The ghost is here. He rushes an enemy soldier and cuts them with a knife. He runs from an explosion. He cuts through glass with his knife. Images of soldiers in action are projected on a concrete X. Crossfire, coming 2020. Oh, really? Today, this year? We saw 10 world premieres huh. and 22 console okay. launch exclusives. Wow. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves You'll get the next-gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. 
With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play, and you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox Game Studios today. That means we'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. Is it going to be Fable or Perfect World Dark? Premiere. Or neither. Xbox Game Studios presents In the Woods, Light Shines Down Through Trees. Playground Games presents Light Reflects Off the Hilt of a Sword. A fairy flies by uh, it. Could it be a fable? The world is filled with stories mm. of legendary heroes. I think the the announcer. Fantastical creatures. Okay. Fantastical creatures. A wondrous place. I have a feeling. Where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Maybe not. A flower blooms in front of the fairy. He leans in. <laughs> But a frog's tongue snatches her. No. It eats her. Not all stories have happy endings. <laughs> but yours has yet to be written. Uh huh. Fable. Fable. Game Pass. Xbox Series X. Windows PC. Really? A wet black glove emerges. Just a teaser. Master Chief's suit is assembled. The number 117 is burned on his breastplate. Okay. So that's really on. early in development the then. The deer appears in the sky. The soldiers face the hmm. horde of zombies. The guardians walk in the snow. A frog snatches the fairy. The woman with a crossbow screams at the zombie deer. The tech sports car speeds around a corner. The girl powers up her glove to suck up the gunk. The helicopter flies around the cliff. The soldiers jump off the plane. The person in the gas mask looks back at us. The three Tetris screens become one. A brother and sister from Tell Me Why stand outside. That looks good. The tiny children stand on the platform with satellites. Characters from I wonder if that's the episodic, are shown. that Tell Me Why, the boy if that's from a full Fantasy game. Star leaps through the air. Cars I'll have to look that up. The, track. the Xbox Series X is shown. Another view shows the console's controller. Master Chief's suit powers up. The console splits apart, revealing the hardware inside. The archers shoot their arrows at the sky. Raz falls through psychedelic light shows. The blast hits Master Chief's hmm. ship. The medium grabs her head and screams. Game Pass members play every title shown today. Ori hides in the woods. Raz approaches a microphone. 22 console launch exclusives. The brother and sister embrace. The tiny kids from Grounded celebrate. Five Grounded new games could be neat. made for Xbox Series X from Xbox Game Studios. A woman with a crossbow inspects her arrow. The young girl at the motel looks down. The best lineup of next generation games on the world's most powerful console. The title of every game shown on the presentation Thanks is shown. Thanks for watching. The console and controller mark. appear. Xbox, Microsoft. Thanks for watching. Hmm, okay, so that is the presentation. Um, huh, so I've got to process that a little bit. Um, see if there's anything new in the chat here. I wonder if it says, let's see. Wow, hi, how you doing? One viewer, so I'm not sure if Jesse's in there or not still. Um... Ah, boy, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Definitely not as impactful as Sony's. Um, they they had a lot more <clears throat> games that... I, I mean, I think they had a little bit more gameplay as well. Um, there are some solid games. I mean, many of them we knew about already. I mean, that that's kind of the main thing with Microsoft is... I feel like we knew a lot about them and a lot of them is like, Oh, by the way, we're updating this for Xbox series X and we're going to make this extra shiny edition. I mean, you know, that's good. I mean, you got destiny two. uh, that's going to have going to go to game pass for current and next gen systems, which again, um, is a really good thing as far as it's not just the core game. You're actually getting all of the, 
<coughs> expansions and content updates and things like that that they've done. So that's a good approach for that. Um, I mean, Forza was just, you know, again, just camera footage. There was zero gameplay whatsoever. I mean, yeah, it was a good-looking game, and we already know Forza is going to be a good-looking game because even, uh, you know, Forza Horizon 4 or Forza 7, I mean, that looked pretty damn good on current-gen consoles. So, um, Halo, Halo looked good. Um, again, that kind of gave me like a... What are you... I didn't... Okay, one of my speakers went off over there. Are you going to chill? All right, then. Um, Halo looked good. It reminded me of a faster, shinier, you know, kind of something like you would get in... Um, like, kind of reminded me of, like, the second level of the original Halo or some of the levels you'd get in the later games. But, yeah, I mean, that seemed to flow good, and... You know, I'll be able to play that on Game Pass right away, and I'll be able to use keyboard and mouse on the PC. Uh, having played some of the Master Chief Collection, I like the way it feels. Some of the, I hope they do change some of the control layout because it. I remember the controls for the the PC controls for Halo Anniversary were a little bit weird. Like, moving and shooting was fine, but, like, I don't remember what it was, but, like, the flashlight and the way it handled some of the weapon switching and everything, just some of the keys were, once you got used to them, it was fine, but it, they were just weird. Um, you know, Halo looked good, and I'm looking forward to the single-player campaign, very much looking forward to, I know that they are considering accessibility. I don't know if blind accessibility, how much is going to be in there, but I know... There are going to be various aspects of accessibility features. Um, I know they're going to be working on that. Uh, a new Fable. Again, v no footage at all, just a teaser. So that's at least 2022 at the earliest, I would suspect. But hey, I'm looking forward. I mean, a, a new Fable, open world Fable game could be great. <coughs> Fable 1 and 2 were really good. 3 was eh. I beat it. I beat all of them. Three was okay. Uh, the ending kind of fell away a bit, but uh, Fable 1 and 2 especially I really enjoyed. The Remedy game, uh, that I'm intrigued about, and that I didn't know. I didn't realize that was theoretically coming out this year still. So that could be interesting. I guess the major problem that I had with today's event was a lot of these games were either already things that we knew were coming or that we were getting updates or the new stuff. I mean, I'm glad they, they did announce some new new titles. They did announce some things that we did that at least I didn't know about. Um and yeah, it's pretty colors. Um, you know, it, it's going to look good, I'm sure. But again, they're showing all these games with, you know, theoretically in-engine or whatever. But it's, it's all like pre-rendered or in-engine stuff, but it's not actual gameplay. Like a couple of them there were, oh, that other, uh, that Obsidian Medieval game. That caught my attention because he had the sword in his right hand. He kind of did this weird little spell pattern thing it looked like with his left hand and it was glowy. So it looks like you're going to be able to, you know, um, sword and cast spells and all kinds of things. So if it's uh, their typical sort of open world RPG that they've done with Fallout and Outer, uh, Outer Worlds and things. But again, that's going to be late next year, probably at, at minimum. Um, so that's going to be a while. But I'm intrigued. You know, they've done some solid work with their RPGs, so I have faith that they'll release something cool there. Psychonauts 2 has been in development forever. Um, you know, they did show some cuts of gameplay in that weird psychedelic... Uh, whatever you want to call that. Um, so that could be good. 
but I I don't know. Um, the rare game, I can't even remember what that was called. Um, but just, I mean, a lot of it just didn't really show me hardly any, if any, gameplay. Um, the Don't Nod game, I forget what, it's not Life is Strange, but the one that's coming out was, actually it was at this or next month already. Um, that I'm looking forward to because their storytelling in their games have been very intriguing. I have been very enjoyable. We, you know, Riley and I had talked a lot about Life is Strange 2 last year and I played the first one and, you know, they're really good storytellers. And so I, I'm curious to see what types of, uh, topics and crazy stuff happens in this next game. So that I'm looking forward to. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad presentation, but, you know, it started strong. I mean, the Halo demo was great. Um, they had to show that. Um, we knew they would. But I'm sort of, I don't know if I want to say indifferent, but uh, I don't know. I just... They have some good games, you know, uh, Hellblade 2. Again, I was thinking, God, I should play the, try to play the original with that Boom 3D with all the voices that go through her head and the way that whole system works. I bet you that would be really crazy with that, uh, with that effect on. But I don't know. Um, I mean, like I said, I kind of have to sit on it a little bit more. I have to kind of process things, and maybe there's... I mean, it was. It, I'm glad they had the audio description... That was a really nice thing, except for that one game where they didn't actually say the title screen and release date. Because <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to the title because I assumed they were going to speak it. And then they didn't, and I just happened to see that it was 2021. Uh, it was toward the end of the presentation there, but that was sort of weird. But it was kind of neat having the, you know, the words, that mainly for the words that were coming up on screen for me, it was helpful. Like the the release dates, the titles, and even there's a couple games where they would have just a little phrase or something appear. Um, that was very helpful. But yeah, um, I think they're going to have a strong launch. I mean, <clears throat> ultimately, the, the, the best thing that I can say about Microsoft right now is that, yes, they're going to have a powerful system. Yes, they're going to have their exclusive games. Some of them might be a little bit further out than we want them to be or whatever, but... The important thing is, like I said in the update video yesterday, I said Game Pass, especially if you have Game Pass Ultimate, is going to be... Th that's, that's the killer, because like they said in the thing several times, all of these games that we saw are going to be available via Game Pass. So, I mean, theoretically, I mean, you don't have to buy any of these games you can just play them day one on game pass even like so that don't nod game if i want to play that if i um i don't know which ones are going to be all on uh, pc it looked like most of them were so theoretically i could play them on my xbox one or windows and like i said you don't even have to buy them so you know again people especially you know we have Blind people always asking for codes and things like that, you know, to play games or what whatnot, you know, even if you're low vision. But, like, Game Pass is a really uh, solid deal, especially as these uh, companies start adding more accessibility features. Hopefully some of these... I, I'm very curious to see what Halo Infinite's accessibility is going to be. I'm very curious. Um, Forza, very curious to see what its accessibility is going to be. Oh, the, um, State of Decay 3. Yeah, I know they're working on accessibility too. I know they're kind of taking that seriously. And uh, if, if they actually had text-to-speech in a lot of their UI, that would help that game immensely. Managing your base, managing your crew sifting through the infinite amounts of inventory and things like that, that would be fantastic. That would make me want to actually play that game a bit more. Um, 
Yeah, I mean it it was it was a decent lineup. Um not too much really that I either didn't expect or there wasn't really a surprise that goes, oh my God, that is an amazing surprise that I didn't even see coming. I mean, the closest surprise, well, of course, with everybody was rumoring, it's kind of like the worst kept secret is the fable. And since we didn't get any gameplay or anything, it's like, okay, that, that's cool that we got that confirmed. I'm glad we got that confirmed. But to me, there wasn't any one game or anything that said, <clears throat> oh, this is this is the new next gen thing. This is this is what makes me want an Xbox uh, Xbox Series X. Um, I think a lot of the games will be good, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see actual more uncut gameplay of some of these things to know what even a few of them are. And the ones that we did see looked pretty decent. So, yeah, and I know they're going to announce more. Uh, theoretically, they're going to have another event in August. I don't know that for sure, but there's been a lot of talk or rumors about that. Um, they're talking about, you know, they're, they're already talking about the One X, but uh, or not the One X, the Xbox Series X. But then they're talking about having, since they already are discontinuing the Xbox One X, uh, they're talking, um, there's a lot of talk about a lower end model of the Series X, like for people who have, eh, if you just want to do 1080p or I don't know what the lower specs or what they'll cut out of it, but theoretically they're going to say something. I've been, everyone's saying that they're going to say something about that in August. So who knows? But yeah, I don't know. Um, it was interesting. Um, I think Sony had a little bit more like big single player gameplay unveil than Microsoft did, at least from what I remember, at least that's what's in my mind right now. Um, but they did an okay job at, um, what they needed to, what they needed to show. And again, game pass, all of these games, if you want to try them, you want to look at the accessibility for yourself or, you know, if, if it's something you think you might be able to play or wondering if you can play everything game pass, get it because hell of a deal there. Anyway, I think we are going to wrap up the stream. That is my thoughts. Kudos to Microsoft for offering that audio described stream to help me out there with some of that reading and especially and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we're going to hear anything pop up on social media, um, Twitter or YouTube and stuff on any of these, especially upcoming games that are coming out fairly soon. Um, I would love to hear more what types of, since Halo was one of their primary focuses there, uh, I would love to even have some teasers or information about included accessibility features. So we will wrap it up here and I think that's probably going to do it for the summer 2020 non E3, uh, coverage depending on how significant a deal it will be if microsoft does another one of these for price i don't know if i'll stream that one or not on the you know if there's getting to be a lot of hype of like oh they're going to actually show a couple of key games and maybe i might but otherwise it might just be in like an event or update video or something like that who knows but yeah, that I think everyone is sort of showing what they are wanting next gen to be. So we have Sony and what they're doing. We have Microsoft and their Xbox and Windows uh, shared initiative. I'm curious about this xCloud thing. And uh, Game Pass is a great deal. And then you have Nintendo over there doing God only knows what. Uh, they had a little indie direct that I forgot to mention during yesterday's video, but honestly, there really wasn't that much to say. I think it was like 10 minutes tops. Um, so there's that. And hopefully we'll get a more meaty direct of what in the heck they're actually going to offer for the switch this fall. 
But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I will upload this. Uh, let me, yeah, no chat, so I will close that up as well. But um, I will upload this to the channel so you guys can watch that uh, at any time. This will just be a bonus video. I won't save it for Saturday. But uh, anyway, you can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited um illegally cited.com and of course youtube.com slash illegally cited like the video if you did subscribe um and if you have been if you're already a subscriber thank you much appreciated and to wrap up the video i am just curious what happens If I go to Mixer.com, actually, Mixer.com is still up. I don't know if... Huh. I don't know. Okay. Oh, Twitch. Okay, Twitch.tv. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know how much... Uh, like, what happens if I go to my dashboard? What does it do? I'm just morbidly curious. Huh. The site is still live. I don't know if I'm if we're technically still able to stream. I was because yeah, as of yesterday, uh, it was um, Mixer's last. Yeah, we don't have any archives because it's been over two weeks. But I don't know. I don't know if if you tried to stream right now. I wonder what would happen. But anyway, R.I.P. Mixer. Um, if it's not down now, it probably will be very soon. Sadly. I talked about that in yesterday's video, but um, we do have our new home on Twitch and YouTube. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.